Hey, what is up, folks? Welcome back to another round of Fallout 4. So, last one we left off, we got asked to go to an area and clear it out. I think we're killing raiders this time, and we are headed that way now wasn't able to fast travel because I've never been there before, but it's not too far from the co-op, so I fast traveled there, and uh, between episodes I did a little bit, little bit of inventory management, I was just carrying around a lot of junk, uh, wanted to get rid of some stuff, I also did some leveling up. I realized I had forgotten to do that for two levels now. Let's see if I can get the trump on this guy. Beautiful. Something's ghost -less. Nice try. I thought I got the dog. I, in fact, did not get the dog. Alright, not a good weapon for... Wait, no, that wasn't it. Was it? I think so. No, that wasn't the right one. Uh, where's my... I thought I had that favorited already. Very nice of him to not wear the helmet. Except I can't seem to get a shot on him. Come on. Alright, got him that time. And now he's running away for some reason. Oh. Thought he could sneak up on me, maybe? Sniper rifle is so hard to control sometimes. Uh. Ah. Damn it. Alt. Alt is how you hold your breath. I keep forgetting to do that. Oh, that looked like a person. Damn it, where are they? Are they behind that wall? Dog armor, that's kind of cool. No sign of him now. Hmm. 
What the hell? Can't see anyone. Alright, time to change up the tactic. And do this a different way. What the fuck was that? When you say it that way, it sounds like you're full of worms. I just can't find you. Sneak attack a turret? Well, I guess I can. Uh, the hell am I doing here? I just gotta clear it out, right? There seems to be... Wait, is there like a lower level? Gamma rounds. I haven't had any of those in a while. Welcome to Robo Industries Termalink Federal Ration Stockpile Access Terminal. Blah blah blah. Let's deactivate the turrets. actually gotten into the stockpile yet. So let's see what awaits us on the other side of this door. Hey. This better be worth it. Time to trade a few things. Do you have... So I'm giving her the gamma gun and the gamma rounds. Ooh, old timey mac and cheese. I think I will. Activated the turrets.
Whoa. Don't have any ammo for it though. That doesn't seem like I can go this way. So we'll go this way. Man, this is spooky. A dragon in here? Ah! No! That was a bad choice. Notice things been like really glitchy this this one and the last one. You hear that? The hell is shooting at me? Oh, there's a guy like two feet away from. I mean, his whole head exploded. I assume that would hurt. Heyday. I might be able to get that open. Just saying. Uh, how about you come make yourself useful then? Hey. What is it? Damn it. No, I didn't want to do it. I wanted her to do it. Got it. Ah, oh, ten millimeter rounds. I stole his stuff, right? Yeah. What's in here? Man, you big I thought I turned off the turrets. Unless I did it wrong. What is that? I I just disarmed a bathroom scale. Um, I assume that means it was booby trapped. But I kind of like the idea of thinking that. Heads up. Need something? Like I literally disarmed a. Grab that. Will do. I think you can unlock that. Uh, so you're just not going to? See what you can do. Yep, I've got it. Like, you have bobby pins. I made sure to leave you some. She's pointing her gun at it. There you go. 
Nothing to it. She did it. Have time to talk now. Still have something important to say. Um, that you love me and you want to buy me cheese. All right. What's important? Is it important? Yeah, I'd say it is. Got a lot to do with our little partnership. What do you think? Go on. Go on. I'm not sure how to put this. We've been on the road together for a while. And we've taken some hard knocks. But through all that crap, I notice you've always been sticking by me. You know, watching me back and making sure I don't do anything stupid. I think maybe it's time to tell you a little bit about who you're traveling with. There's no reason for us to keep acting like we're strangers. I appreciate your trust. I appreciate your trust. Well, you're the first to earn it. It all starts with two waves of humanity, I suppose you could call me parents. I'm convinced I was a mistake, because I can't remember a single moment that they treated me like their daughter. I was yelled at and beaten. Everything I did was wrong. Nothing Those but a monsters. nuisance in their eyes. The whole time I was telling myself that they had to love me, even if it was just the tiniest bit, because they never kicked me out. Then me 18th birthday arrived, and I found out why they kept me around. They slapped a shock collar around me neck and sold me to slavers. They didn't even care enough about me to say goodbye. Those 18 years of suffering jerks. through that shite, and all I was worth to them was a pocket full of caps. I'm so sorry, dude. That's terrible. My God. I'm so sorry. Thanks. But there is more to the story. It would be easy to blame me charm and personality on me parents. But they didn't make me this way. I did. I was with those slavers for five years. Roughest five of me goddamn life. The things they made me do. The way they used me for their amusement. It sickens me to me stomach even thinking about it. But I bided me time and learned to use their own methods against them. Stealing a few caps out of a sleeping man's pocket is a piece of cake. As long as you don't get greedy. Killed them all? I can't believe you tolerated that. I would have killed them all. That's easy for you to say. You weren't there. You have no idea what I went through. It took every ounce of patience I had. But after five years, I had finally pocketed enough to buy me own way out of there. But instead of heading off to try and repair the shambles of me life, I gave in to me rage and I headed home. You can imagine the look on me parents' faces when I kicked open their door. What you can't imagine is what they looked like after. After I emptied me gun into them. Good girl. Did what you had to do. You did what you had to do. Did I? When I close me eyes, all I can see is their faces twisted with fear. And then my mind starts wandering and I start judging myself. And it's ripping me the fuck apart. You think I inject myself with all that shite and drink myself drunk because I'm a tough Irish girl. I do it so I can forget and move on with my miserable life. So there you are. The entire flawed package known as Kate. Stripped bare for your perusal. I'm proud of you. I'm proud of you. I knew I was taking a chance telling you all this. But I never expected you to say you were proud of me. I... I, I think I needed to hear that from you. Thank you. I'm gonna try it. I'm always here for you, Kate. There's nothing you can say that would ever change that. Oh, uh, I, well, that's, that's not what that's I was expecting line? to say. Sorry, I didn't realize you cared that much about me. And here I thought I was being stupid, bothering you with me problems. It feels good to know if I need you, you'll be there for me. And I'll always be there for you, too. I might actually be developing a small crush on Kate. She's adorable. And oh so troubled. Which, ironically, is my type. Hmm? 
something's ghosting us. Nice try. Damn it, I don't have any grenades left. Uh I should have a single model of cocktail. going this is such a maze How much protection does a sack on your head provide? That's what I want to know. That kind of looks familiar. It's just so many doors. Not a dude, that was a Load of me boots. Oh my god, you saved me. Um I was a turret, not a dude. Oh, no, you Damn it! Uh, Kellogg's pistol time. Please don't fail me. It didn't fail me. Alright, that's really all I gotta do in here. And then, well, I definitely want to raid this corpse. be like a quick way out of here that would be really nice or any way out of here oh hey look at that a quick way out of here so we got some uncomfortable therapy time with Kate and killed a bunch of baddies now we're heading back to is this a joke well this where am I why do you think it's a joke? This doesn't seem funny. Uh, can I fast travel from here? I assume I should be able to, right? Uh, gotta go back here. Yes. 
Now we just gotta report back our success and carry on with doing tasks. I don't know what to call it. Um, bounty hunter missions, maybe? Hello. I took care of those raiders for you. Really? Well, that's the best news I've heard in a long time. Why is my heart thumping like crazy? That seems weird. Um. Oh. My health is almost gone. Let's, uh load up with some dirty needles we found and head back to sanctuary it's a pretty cool like shotgun concept i don't know if the filing on the barrel end is really useful for anything uh where is mr gravy are you in my house yeah excuse me get out of my bed Apparently the castle's been trying to get you on the radio. Some kind of situation over there. Better go see what's going on. Okay, now I'm headed back to the castle. I feel like I'm not happy about him sleeping in my bed. When I built this place, I specifically made... I made... Where is it? Let's... I think it was this house. I made everybody dirty little mattresses that they can sleep on so that no one would sleep in my house because, hey, a little pumpkin. I wanted my own peace of mind and now I've got gravy in my bed and he won't let me cuddle. He's being very selfish. Uh, well... Let's mosey on to the castle. Which is all the way over here. There's one person living there and he's 20% happy. Um, Let's see. All right, well, that's going to be our time for today. Thank you so much for joining us on the Fallout Let's Play. Um, next time, we're going to pick up and head to the castle and see what kind of help they needed over there. Hopefully, this gets the story moving. Um, I don't know why this cow just decided he needed to put his butt next to me when I'm trying to talk to you all, but. Uh, that's going to be it for today, and hope you have a wonderful rest of your day.